Okay, so this is a page on vapor pressure and boiling. A liquid will boil when its vapor pressure equals atmospheric pressure. Answer the questions following the graph. Now, I don't love this graph because it's in TOR, which is not what we normally use. But don't forget that we have um, 101.3 kilopascal and one atmosphere, which is on uh, the reference table. We also know that 760 TOR and 760 millimeters of mercury. Those are all standard pressure. So 760 TOR is standard pressure. And um, I'm going to try my best to draw straight lines, but it is, oh gosh, that's not great at all. So there's going to be some, <laughs> some margin of error, so to speak. This is not a great sheet because it doesn't have, you know, grid lines, but we're going to do our best. At what temperature would liquid A boil at an atmospheric pressure of 400 torr? And then it asks for B and C. So as straight as I can across. So there's 400 torr. So coming down, oh goodness, I don't know, like 30, that's not straight, maybe 36 degrees Celsius for A, B, oh good. It's not quite 70, but like pretty darn close. Let's just call it 70, maybe 68, 69. Um, and then this, I don't know, 90, like high 90s, 98, 99. Not quite 100. You couldn't tell from that drawing, though. How low must the, and let me erase that now. How low must the atmospheric pressure for B for liquid A to boil at 35? So here's 35. I travel up as straight as I can get it. Ugh, not great. Um, I think it's a little bit higher than that. I'm going to say like maybe three, 380, 390. It's not great. And this is Tor. Uh, liquid B, 35, um, maybe 175, 180, and liquid C is very low, I don't know, like 50, 60, okay. Normal boiling point is at 760, right, I'm going to get rid of this now. So liquid A coming down, oh gosh, like 55, liquid B, oh wow, that's not, that's, what the heck, that's not right, I can't see it, maybe I should zoom in a little bit better, there we go. Let's see if this let's see if this helps. Mm. Eighty two, maybe? I don't know. Liquid C. Hundred and ten, give or take. Which liquid has the strongest intermolecular forces? Okay, so let's zoom back out. So the strongest intermolecular forces, strongest force is going to take the highest temperature to boil. Because the particles are being held so closely together with the strong force, you're going to have to apply a lot of heat. You're going to have to have a really high temperature for it to boil. So who has the highest boiling point normally? That's going to be liquid C. So it must have the strongest intermolecular forces. All right, this sheet is not great. If you can read table H in the reference tables and understand it, you're good. And remember, on table H, let's go there. Oh, I have it. Um, here's table H. Remember, at table H, here we have standard pressure. It's very clearly marked. You find it down, 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 down and that is the normal boiling point, okay? All right, thanks.